Hi, my name is Benedetto, Benedetto Vigna. I'm taking care of uh, uh, a business group in ST Microelectronics. It's called Analog, MEMS and Sensors. Why and how? Uh, first of all, one of the reasons why we have been really pushing uh, and uh, we've been successful in this field, uh, first of all, you need uh, to have a business idea. What does it mean? You, need to, you have to think to the product. You have also to think how to make money from this product. A lot of times, uh, I still remember the few days when I was uh, hired in ST, uh, my boss was coming to ask me, okay, you make this, and then how much money you get out of this? Sometimes people forget that innovation makes sense if and only if there are money related to that. Because if there are money, then there are also workplace. So there are a few important criteria, in my opinion, for this innovation to happen. Number one is the business idea. Number one, two is the support from the company. is support in terms of resources, money and people. Number three is a lot of work. You need hard work. Otherwise, this does not happen. Number four is a great teamwork. Without a teamwork, things do not happen. You can have the best idea, but if you don't have the right teamwork, this is not really happening. Fifth, that is last but not least, is luck. These are, in my opinion, the five important factors that are important to do something innovative in the high-tech field. MEMS in the last uh, 10 years uh, changed a lot uh, the, the, the way we interact with objects. Uh, when we started in the MEMS field, uh, MEMS were only used in the automotive industry. MEMS in the consumer were not so much used. Uh, thanks to ST, thanks to the business idea we had, uh, we changed the way people interface with handheld devices. So MEMS uh, opened a lot of new killer applications in the consumer market, mostly in tablet, in PC, in gaming, in, uh, in, in tablet, uh, something else is happening uh, in the short term, but we see a lot of opportunity also somewhere else. Let's make an example. Five, five years ago, five years ago, when I was going around to talk to the customer and I was talking about this idea of, uh, of putting a serometer and gyroscope in the phone, they were saying, what's in it for me? Why do we have to put this? Now there is no smartphone in the world without this product. And this takes only five, only five years. What I believe is that for the future, the things that are around the body, can be necklace, can be shoes, can be garment, will be with more electronics. We will have more and more electronics in the device around the body, and uh, the sensors are important things for this to happen. Look uh, how much you see now on internet on this kind of wearable technologies. We have glasses, why don't put sensor in the glasses? And you can put sensor if they are small, if they are low power consumption, if they are wirelessly connected. So what I see for future is really a new wave of uh, sensor and electronics uh, in the wearable. I believe in 2017 we will not have any more a device, a smartphone, like it is today, we will have something that is distributed around the body. First edition of Innovation Cup was very good. I saw a lot of uh, good ideas, I saw a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, some of those uh, contributors, or those participants, are now working, are part of that team that I was saying is very important for the success. I think that the people with a technical background today, with the sensors, with the MEMS, have an excellent opportunity. They can even build a successful company just having the right idea with a few people. Think about Fitbit. It's a company based in San Francisco. It is pretty much successful. There are not so many. They have the, the right business idea. And they, it's all built around sensors. Go to see also on the web Netatmo. It's a French company. It's been also successful. It's about what? It's about sensors that are let me say, uh, that have a, a, an important value proposition for the customers, and this was something new that nobody thought. So I think you have, uh, with the innovation cap, an excellent opportunity. Or you can uh, do something, uh, or you, we can win a prize, and maybe you can also hire it in our company if you do well, and if, uh, let me say, your ideas have a, have a future. Or you may even think to set up your own startup 
and to create workplace in Europe. So, yeah. good luck everyone, and I hope you are uh, lucky with your ideas and you, you think when you develop this product, to the product, to the way you make money, but also to the workplace that uh, you generate with your ideas in Europe. Because Europe really need to not lose the ground for the next era that I believe is the sensing era. Good luck.